Well, we know that in this town, the Bills reign supreme, and we're going to keep the Bills theme going. This time, we're talking about the wife of an NFL Hall of Famer, Patty Thomas. She's an artist, and very soon her work is going to be on exhibit in Miami. But first, let's check in with her in Buffalo. What it's really saying is even when your convictions are rooted in good, that you're going to get kicked in the teeth regardless. Really, I didn't even start painting until a week into March. It was just a thought in February. I was down in West Palm Beach, and a very good friend of mine that lives there, I ended up showing her a couple things, and everybody around the table kind of laughed, except her. She, and she's, um, you know, she was an art dealer. She's a gallery owner. How many pieces have you drawn or put together? So 60, uh, up, uh, upwards of 60, but I paint all day, sometimes into the night. We all kind of decided it was best to do it anonymously so we could really gauge what people thought of what I was doing with no uh, exterior like factors involved right. in it. So nobody knew it was you because you go under the name of? The ghost. The ghost. Why did you choose the ghost? So it was a family decision. We all kind of bounced names around. And I guess for some reason that one just kind of caught us all. And I think it was because I did kind of want to be like an apparition and just kind of sneak in under the radar because I wanted, I wanted honesty from like the art world. This is called Value Me, and people that know me know I've had two ACL reconstructions. I have a right hip replacement. I have four discs fused in my neck. I have a, you'd think I'd played 13 years in the NFL, which I did not. <laughs> but, oh, in right? the stands you did. <laughs> but um, this is really about our vulnerability, and, and it's about when people see you and they see maybe your weaknesses and your vulnerabilities and they judge you based on those things. It's about looking deeper into what a person means to their, to their family and their friends and their community. I use acrylic on canvas, on like a heavy paper or mixed media. Mm -hmm. So a couple different things. And I love marker. I love to use marker on some of the small um, mixed media. I'm using characters um, to describe real life situations or people around me. I wanted to do a tribute to the black men in my life and I, I, and their resiliency and not just them, but black men in general and um, how they've had to be resilient and overcome. It's just about the rebellious age of rock and roll and oh. that's really kind of what that one's about. And he's saying, you know, heaven forbid I shake my tail feathers. Thurman is a newfound art critic. I do paint some pieces that are reminiscent of Buffalo Bills. Thurman's handprint is on it. I grabbed like an eight by 10 of him and I put it on canvas and painted over it and coll it was collaging yeah. is what it is. And I ended up creating a little guy called Squatty. And, <laughs> and back in the day and still a few of Thurman's teammates called him Squatty. That was his nickname because he was like short and fast. And you're already in a gallery. Yes. How did that come about? Being like public figures, it was very important to come out anonymously. The director and the curators here, they knew that it weighed on me. Some other people around Buffalo that are in this same business came to me and said, you know, when we curate an exhibit, our name is on that exhibit. Um, and it, it, it's a reflection of us and not just your artwork. And if we didn't believe that it was worthy to be there, it wouldn't be there. Still respectful of people that are out there that are grinding and, and working really hard. This is just a love story and it's about how as cliche as it sounds, your dreams can be a reality if you, if you make them and you work hard. And this is about attaining like a relationship with someone that you love. This is you too, right? It is kind of me. And it's kind of my relationship with my husband or my relationship with my kids and dear friends. It's, it's, about, it's, it's about working hard at a relationship and making it more than just a dream, making it reality.